ticket number seven. My name is Monica from marketing department and I would like assistance in connecting to the marketing printer. Now, printing is very common thing in most of the companies when you start working, they're gonna have network printers. Now, from fundamental knowledge from our IT support courses, you probably have already learned about printers. And also, uh, in some cases, you already know how to connect a home printer by Wi-Fi or using a USB. And you uh, that's something very basic that most of the people have already done in their life. But when it comes to network printing, uh, it's done in most of the companies where you have a big printer or many printers available for specific teams. And usually for that, you need a server to manage printing. Now, again, the whole server part and configuration part is done by a systems administrator because they have server-related experience and access. And then they will give you access to basically implement or install network printers for clients such as Monica right now. So in this case, let's first go ahead and check where is our printers in our company project company so for that you need to click on the project lab and let's log in to your uh, username and password to the lab and your printing server is set up in app server a so let's go ahead and go to that server and this is like a system administrator telling you how our printers are set up in our company in your company they will do the same to kind of guide you you can ask them where is our network printer printers installed or how is it configured so then I can take care of the network related printers uh, tickets. So in this case, let's go ahead and open our server. So you're going to go to tools and here you see there's print management. So in your company, someone as a sysadmin level have already went to add roles and features and they basically click next to here next and then they went into uh, the basically uh, install the print manage print print and document right here it says print server install so they have already done this part in your company and that's why in under the tool it's available uh, for you to see now of course in companies you can't just go to the servers if they don't let you so you won't be able to see this but you will see what uh, printers are on your network so if you click on print management like this in our company in this project uh, we have marketing printer available under this server so now what do we have to do we have to actually go back to amy's machine sorry monica's machine and let's find if we can find a network printer in this company so we're going to go into monica's uh, desktop and let's go ahead and basically you just call her remote into her machine or walk into her office and tell her to let's log in to your system and i'm going to show you how to get connected so once you come to the Monica's machine, then what we will do, we're going to uh, come over here and you in the search, you can just type printers or printer. So as soon as you type printer in Windows 11, same way with Windows 10, you're going to see add printer or scanners right here is the information. So you can click on add a printer or a scanner. So let's click on that. And here we have this option add device we're going to click on add device now if usually in most of the companies it will automatically detect your network printers and then you simply pick that and add it to this com computer but let's say it didn't pick it up then what you need to do you need to click on add manually and once you click on add manually you see it is uh, looking for fine printer in a directory based on location or feature you can use this feature you can use this one which will require a, um, a knowing the computer name which is basically the server name so where are we where have we installed the server so if you come over here and type ip server a and if you know the printer name you can type it but let's say you click next it's not going to let you uh, do it this way right so you have to go back here and what is the printer name over here you can come back to this section right click on the printers and go to properties and once you go to the properties you click on sharing right here you see this printer is not shared yet so the first thing we need to do is to share this printer and that is why we couldn't find it first so if i click here and i'm going to name it Mar share name will be marketing printer so usually i like to remove the space to make it easy for you to type things so all that uh the, when we when we share this uh, printer this is going to be shared on the network then 
So right now, if I go back here to Monica's machine, I can do it that way. But first, because we just shared it, you can refresh and find if we can find that printer one more time. So if you still can find it, you can click on add manually now. And let's go into that server, app server A. And we, you see when I clicked on slash, it already looked for that printer because that's the, the system is smart enough to say there's a printer available. So I can click on that now and click next. And you see it's now connecting. And then we are going to install a driver. It's going to go out to a server, download the driver. It's going to ask you for permission because Monica is not authorized to do this kind of stuff. So yes, you need to put your Active Directory admin password that you have. You are the admin here. You're the help desk. And that's exactly what um, they need you. Because if, even if somebody's technical enough to do this stuff, they still can't do this. You, they still need this sort of access. So you're going to click yes now and then install the printer. So it says finishing installation. And, uh, and now you have successfully added a marketing printer on app server a so we're going to click this one and you can send a print test and if that printer is a real printer it has a um, then of course it should have uh, documents uh, papers and once you do press it's going to take that pressed uh, you know um, document will come out of that printer and now if you look at it uh, in this monica's machine print marketing printer on server a is connected now so you can come over here and then print test here, troubleshooting, printer of preferences, hardware, properties, and things like that. Now, of course, uh, the rest of the tickets may come. I want to, to print out this paper or that paper. Of course, that's, you can go into the properties and, and do more research on your own. But this is where we are going to, um, uh, your ticket is solved because you uh, have added the printer for Monica and the marketing uh, printer. Um, like I said, uh, it's not only one way to do this when it comes to printing. You also can do this through that share name and share uh, name of the printer or share IP address, meaning there was another option too. So let me quickly show you. If let's say you can't find uh, or uh, are unable to do it that way, you can open the add a printer or scanner one more time. And let's do add a device. And let's do add manually now. And here is the another option that you can use, add a printer using an IP address or host name. So if I click next, you're going to come over here and you need to click on TCP IP. And then you need to type the IP address of that printer. And then, then basically it's going to go out and start uh, finding it out. Auto detect, you can do that, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. But this IP address, what is the IP address or which IP are we talking about? We're talking about the app server IP address. So the IP address of this server would be CMD. You go to this and you're going to need this IP address then. Right. So we need uh, this 167 address. So you're going to come over here and you're going to type 192.168.3.168. Let's confirm that. 3.167 and all you got to do is to click next now and it's going to go out and start looking for that printer. Now keep in mind that in companies every printer that is a network printer are huge printers sometimes and they have their dedicated IP addresses. Usually they will put the IP address on top of the printer so a tech like you or a support person like you can just look at that printer and then find the IP address. If it's not in that, then you need to go inside that printer. Those are big printers. They have these options. Every printer these days have an option networking. You click on the networking, you go find that IP address, come back to the computer and then put it right here and then it will start finding it out. Now, if this is not finding, that's fine because this is not a real printer. That's why it's probably not doing that. But we have done it the other way by sharing it. Another uh, option is already available to us. So uh, it doesn't matter. You use the IP address or the, the, the sharing like name like this. It, if it works, they, can, they will be able to print that. And when they start printing, then, of course, the management will be from here. So if I, let's say, come over here and I do print test and I am just going to, you see, it's printing one document in queue. So it's telling me that one job just happened. So as an administrator, Let's say, for example, this this is being used by 200 people and you see the jobs are being stuck here. So you can come over here. You can pause printing. You can uh, do some stuff like rename, enable, clearing some queues and stuff like that from an admin side too. 
And again, once you get to a little more advanced level, you can deploy printers through group policy. Now that is little advanced stuff. We're not going to group policy for printers in this uh, skill set, but that would be someone administrator level person and they can just deploy it to any department. So let's say Ma Monica logs in, automatically she's gonna get this printer without you doing that. Why? Because somebody have deployed a group policy and when Monica logs in, that group policy will kick in and she will get the printer because we have defined it inside the server. This is something you, if you wanna learn advanced stuff, then of course you can do more research online and learn more about it. And But that is not a normal IT support skill set right now. So with that, you're done with the tickets. Now you need you need to send us the 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 project um, screenshot. So go ahead and open your printing section just like that, um, and make sure you open this uh, screen. So when you go back to the printing, and your printer is connected, go ahead and click on it, and then this should show just like this. So let's go and open printing one more time. I'm just gonna click on search, add printer, and make sure you click on marketing printer on server so this should be like this so then when you send us a screenshot it should have a date the same information in printing marketing everything like that and send this screenshot it should say dot desktop monica and then you go back to your uh, assignment here click on start and send us that screenshot and let us know what you have learned and if you have any other question you just put it right here thank you